If you're dealing with problems in the bedroom, you've possibly wondered, can medications cause erectile dysfunction? In part two of our series on erectile dysfunction, we'll explore if prescription drugs could trigger ED. So to answer your question about whether meds can cause erectile dysfunction, the answer is a very strong yes. Many prescription and over-the-counter drugs are known to cause a loss of libido or impotence. Here are six medications that can contribute to ED. Blood pressure medications. Blood pressure medications are the first group of meds that can be a direct cause of erectile dysfunction. Beta blockers, thiazide diuretics, and loop diuretics are all known to cause problems with getting and keeping an erection. Some people depend on these drugs to treat their blood pressure, but there are potential alternatives to treat your hypertension, like angiotensin, receptor blockers, or ACE inhibitors. Talk to your doctor to see if those would work for you. Androgen blockers. Casodex, also known as bicalutamide and flutamide, are two androgen blockers that can cause cause erectile dysfunction. The issue with these drugs is that they're often used to treat prostate cancer, so it's difficult for a man who has cancer to stop taking them. Hair loss drugs. Hair loss drugs such as Propecia, benign prostatic hyperplasia, and Avodard may help increase a man's confidence if they are self-conscious about thinning hair or balding, but that confidence might be fleeting if he starts having problems in the bedroom. Minoxidil is a product that can be gotten over the counter to treat hair loss without loss of libido. However, minoxidil may have other side effects such as scalp itching or burning, weight gaining, swelling, difficulty breathing, rapid heartbeat, chest pain, and lightheadedness. Sedatives and anxiolytics. Drugs such as Xanax, Avitan, and Valium can help a person relax, but they can also cause too much relaxation in other areas of the body, triggering ED. These drugs interrupt nerve signals and hormones, but usually the problem is only temporary. Once a patient is weaned off of the drug, things go back to normal. Antidepressants. This is a big and important category because so many people take antidepressants. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRI drugs, including Prozac and Paxil, are common antidepressants that can also have an effect on sexual function. Other potentially problematic drugs include Effexor XR, Cymbalta, Tricylic, and Tetracylic antidepressants, such as Pamelor and Anaphrenil, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, such as Marplan. Now, if you are concerned about antidepressant medication causing ED, Wellbutrin and Remeron are shown to have little to no effect on libido or the ability to get an erection. But as always, speak with your healthcare professional about your options. Antihistamines. If you deal with allergies, you know how important antihistamines are to getting some relief. But they can cause ED because histamine is thought to act as a neurotransmitter that contributes to sexual arousal. Some of the drugs to watch out for are Tagamet, Benadryl, Claritin, Dramamine, Antivert, and Zantac. The ED effect will wear off once you stop taking the meds. If any of the drugs you currently take are on the list, don't just stop taking them. The last thing you want to do is to make an ongoing health problem worse. The best approach is to talk to your doctor about potential alternatives first. Erectile dysfunction is a common condition for men of all ages. Getting over the stigma and talking to your doctor is the first step in dealing with ED. In part three of our series, we'll discuss some myths about erectile dysfunction and just how normal it really is. Now, if you missed the first part of our series, what is erectile dysfunction, and you want to learn more about why it happens, we've included the link in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, MedShadow has others to help you protect your health and stay on alert to avoid medical harm, including medication side effects. See you in part three of this series.